especially with how last episode was, this episode being called Yami and Vanjun. I don't know. I'm honest. I'm kind of like Yami. It is a little hard to say. William Vonjance, however you say it. This episode being called Yami and Vonjance, gonna be quite the interesting one. <laughs> What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover episode 86. Like I said, Yami and Vonjance. <laughs> That's just how they say it in the show, so don't judge me. Last episode, we had a backstory of how they first met, how they kind of teamed up on this one little mission to help some farmers out in the boonies. And I think that story was to hopefully inspire Asta to get out of his little slump because of you know and how, I don't want to say depressed, but he's a little out of it right now. We still need to figure out the results of the Royal Knights, and I'm, a lot of people have been telling me that shit is still going to get crazy, even though I thought shit was already crazy, so you guys got me way too hyped. I'm excited. I gotta hop into this episode right now. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or want to watch the full-length version of any of the shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter, all Dapper Darius. And then, uh, I'd say, I think that's it. Let's hop into this. Thank you guys. Um, Black Clover. Episode 86, Yami and Vengeance. Let's do this. A few years later, Mr. Nova Chrono himself became the Wizard King. Vice Captains. They were both Vice Captains of the Grey Deer. More bandits. Well, we know they're good with taking out bandits, so... Look at William accepting it all formally. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, oh, I'm actually gonna, I wanna go back and look at that, just because it's been a minute since they showed the map, so I apologize. We have the Noble Realm, which is where the Clover Kingdom, the capital city was, is it called Kira? I forget the name, Akika, that's what I'm thinking, but that's not what I'm thinking of, Raki, Raki, that's where the underwater temple was at Neen, that's where we helped out with uh, Nige and the Snow one, right, right the Spade Kingdom's above, Diamond Kingdom to the right, Heart Kingdom to the left, Common, Forsaken, Noble, okay, Chitin was, the Chitin was where we fought with the Diamond Kingdom, yes, I remember all this, see, some of this, I needed this, actually, so, damn, I'm glad I looked at this map. Yeah, especially with them hitting, they're hitting villages all over the map. True, which is a lot. Valid point. Aimaya or Zokodani village. Okay. They have a magical communications device. Okay, so it makes sense that they would want it. That they would want it. Especially because they might have ancient magic items. Damn, that is a lot of bandits too. Yeah, what is he going to do if he can't contact you? I love how some people ride on their brooms like that. Like, Yuno does it all the time. It looks so badass. It's like a heat-seeking arrow. What is that, made out of sand? This is the same bandit who got away from the last thing we did. He was on the fiery boar. He, his design looks super dope, I won't lie. I was about to say, it's pretty distinguishable. Yeah, he doesn't have any of the... He didn't have any of the scars or whatever that is. <laughs> what is that staff? Alright, say less. That's what we'll do. 
He's like Gara. That's is that the staff still making like sand creatures? It's like a ground, it's like a mole. Witch hunter claws. They are the magic knights. Sheep horn snag. Gold from the crimson lion and mole from the silver eagles. They're past your limits, my man. Come on. That's what we love to see. Your limit, huh? Let's surpass them. Oh, world tree magic. I won't lie. William's magic is one of my favorites in the show. Won't even lie. Ooh. Take another step, your head's coming clean off. Yeah, he needed that one. These guys are playing tug of war over here. This guy really just creates moles. He owed you, or you. <laughs> yep, he owed you one and now he paid it back. Serious. He is such a character. New squads? So they did. They made new squads for these two? Heck yeah, sir! No hesitation! Oh, they did have that competition. That is true. <laughs> I like their rivalry a lot. The Black Bulls. He was trying to go with that squad from the jump, and I appreciate that. No need for nobility, status, birthright. <laughs> Who have their own color and mix it up. When you mix all the colors, you get black. I like the reasoning behind the name. <laughs> Very cheesy, but I really like that as well. Even though the night is dark, the light will always shine and a golden dawn will... I actually like that as well. <laughs> That's how the rivalry went to the next level. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, what's the point of that whole story? Surpass your limits. No. I am very happy he told us that story. Shouts out, Yami. Yes, get out of your slump. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck kind of owl beats on your door like that? Oh, my waifu, Mary Leona, Lady Sisgolian. What's happening, girl? Can these episodes be like three hours long? What the fuck, man? Well, a little finale to a two-parter of, of the Yami and William backstory. I was not, I was never expecting a Yami backstory to have William this much involved, but I really thoroughly enjoyed how they dealt with the bandits and then dealt with the same bandits over again who had help from Magic Knight traders, which is another prime example of how corrupted the Magic Knights and the system of becoming a Magic Knight truly is. That's what makes me like Zora even that much more and his father, Zara, absolute real ones. And I really like um, Julius's, you know, recommendation to Zora. You know, come on, help, help, you know, come on, help out. We need you with these Magic Knights because of how corrupted they are. And man, it was a great episode. I love how they decided to come up with their teams, or squad names, and all that. You know, a mix of all colors where anyone's welcome. We mix all colors, you get black. 
and instead of the black hooligans because that sounds a little weird the black bulls love the name and then the golden dawn cheesy as can be you know no matter how dark the night is there will be a golden dawn that shines the next day really do enjoy that and thoroughly enjoying their teamwork and everything like that just yami's dark magic one of my favorites in the show william's magic or world tree magic one of my favorites in the show so i'm, I'm a th i'm a thoroughly a fan of both of them and for them to work together i love it and, and then Oz is like what's the point of that entirely two episode long story and he's like he could have just said that in the first place but Asa seems to be out of it out of his slump i should say he was out of it before and now Mary Leona is banging through the door, so we got to see what she wants. Sis Golian, you know, I'm, I'm thoroughly excited. So I'm going to hop into this next episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. All that jazz. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes or want to watch the full-length version of any of the episodes, check out that Patreon down below. Links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, at Dapper Darius. I appreciate y'all. Drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Appreciate y'all. Have a great day. Peace.